Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Great Network. Today, we will be discussing about the aircraft engines, but not any engine in particular or a manufacturer. This is the first video of a series of educational videos from which I hope you might be able to learn how different aircraft engines work. This series is not limited to aviation enthusiasts only, but uh, it is for anyone who might uh, want to learn how engines work. This series will include piston, turbo, turbojet, turbofan, gear turbofan engines. Also, special videos from other important uh, elements and accessories like um, fuel injection, turbos, reversers, and afterburners will be found here. Uh, so, what is an engine? Basically, an engine is a, a device that, through a combustion process, converts the potential energy of uh, fuel to rotational power capable of driving uh, devices like gearboxes, governors, and propellers. Now, how this witchery happens? Basically, a number of pistons travel up and down inside the corresponding number of dark holes, which of course means cylinders. At uh, some time during this process, we introduce the basic ingredients, a mixture of uh, fuel and air, and uh, an ignition source. Then the magic, the magic just happens. All the engines that uh, burn a subtype of fuel will uh, have to follow a certain sequence of uh, four events. Simply, in four words, in order to produce power from uh, an engine, we suck, squeeze, bank, and blow. This sequence is true for piston, jet, turboprop, scrum, and uh, almost any aviation engine. More specifically, for uh, a four-stroke piston engine, this process goes as follows. During the first stroke, we intake air from the atmosphere and uh, we introduce fuel to it, creating a vapor mixture of fuel and air. This mixture is sucked into the cylinder during the downwards movement of the piston and uh, then on the upwards movement it is squeezed. This uh, squeezing equates to the compression. The compression is the second stroke of this type of engine. During this phase, the upward momentum of the piston compresses the mixture to a degree that is far easier to combust efficiently. But uh, before we can reach the maximum travel of the piston, uh, we introduce the ignition spark to get the bank. The bank indicates the start of the third, or third stroke, the power stroke, the one we try so hard to get till now. This bank pushes the piston down again with huge pressure cases. With this uh, downward pressure, the piston delivers the power to the crankshaft, which converts the linear momentum to rotational, so we can use it to drive things. But the piston doesn't stop there. No, it's also on to do the dirty work. Basically, it must clean the way for the next cycle. This is the fourth and final stroke of the auto cycle. It's called the exhaust. Here, we blow the gases out of the cylinder and doing so will clear the way for the next cycle. Also, doing so, if the engine is uh, turbocharged, we also supply the turbo with gases which will push even more fresh air for the new cycle. One thing, important thing to notice here, the four stroke engine needs to complete two revolutions of the crankshaft in order to achieve the power stroke. But uh, two stroke and vacuum engines will achieve a power stroke in one revolution of crankshaft. That's why 
two stroke and van kl rot rotary engines will uh, deliver more power than the conventional four stroke engine with the same total displacement the power delivered leaving aside of course the fuel grades and quality is directly connected with four numbers firstly the size of the cylinder and the piston travel which of course gives us the total displacement of uh, each cylinder Th secondly the compression rate thirdly the engine revolutions per minute or most commonly known as rpm and lastly the number of cylinders increasing any one of these four uh, numbers should increase the total power output of the engine on the next video we will discuss how much one of these changes will affect the operation and the power characteristics of an engine till next time take care bye hello again thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it, this video like it if you dislike dislike it but please leave me a comment because i want to know what you disliked it also leave a comment if you have any suggestions or uh, any ideas how to improve my channel i really working very hard for you because uh, this is a channel from aviators to aviators thank you very much bye bye